Welcome to AFAX number one, stock to entertainment and trending news. Now, the last three episodes of Harry and Meghan aired, but if you go back to the first three episodes, we got to hear from Meghan Markle that she was really surprised by Kate and Prince William's formality behind closed doors. And in fact, she had put out that she was a big hugger. And when the first time she met William and Kate, she was in her ripped jeans, barefoot. And when they came over for dinner, she went to hug them. In fact, she said, I was a hugger, always been a hugger. I didn't realize that is really jarring for a lot of Brits. She even went ahead to add that I guess I'd start to understand very quickly that the formality on the outside carried through on the inside. There is a forward facing way of being and then they close the door and you relax now. But that formality carries over on both sides and that was surprising to me. And so the picture that we get painted is that William and Kate are people who are very formal even on the inside. They are very stiff, let's just say that. And now in the last three episodes harry did mention his brother now the fourth fifth and sixth episodes of harry and megan cover the pair's challenges since their 2018 wedding megan's deteriorating mental health and her 2020 miscarriage and ultimately the decision to quit as working members of the family now harry said he initially asked for a half in half out arrangement where harry and megan would have their own jobs but still work in support of the queen during a crunch family meeting and harry said but it became very clear very quickly that the goal was not up for discussion or debate it was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true and my grandmother quietly sit there and take it all in now he did not blame his grandmother but he put out but you have to understand that from the family's perspectives especially from hers there are ways of doing things and her ultimate mission and goal responsibility is the institution she's going to go on the advice that she's given so basically what prince harry put out is that his grandmother the queen the late queen elizabeth did not was not able rather to make the decision herself or rather speak for herself she was going by the advice of other people the pair describes throughout the new episodes how in their view their position within the royal family became untenable after constant hounding from britain's medias and repeated disregard for the couple's well-being inside palace walls harry hinted that there was jealousy from other royals towards megan given the amount of media attention she was initially receiving the issues when someone who is marrying in who should be a supporting act is then stealing the limelight or is doing the job better than the person who is born to do this that upsets people it upsets the balance because you have been led to believe that the only way that your charities can succeed and your missions can grow is if you are on the front pages of those newspapers the docuseries also touches on megan's deteriorating mental health and her miscarriage in july of 2022 she shared i was pregnant i really wasn't sleeping the first morning that we woke up in our new home is when i miscarried she described experiencing suicidal uh, thoughts telling the filmmakers she believed all of this will stop if i'm not here and that was the scariest thing about it it was such clear thinking now the opera interview was also mentioned and we get to see harry getting a text from his brother that is prince william we don't get to see the context of the message but at that particular time megan is on call with tyler perry who also has been mentioned to be the godfather to their daughter and he is the one who offered them a place after they did not feel safe in canada he gave them uh, their home to stay as long as they want he sent his private jet to pick them up and while he was on call with megan letting her know that Buckingham Palace had put out a statement in regards to the Oprah interview and the famous while recollections may vary. Prince Harry who is seen standing receives or is reading something and has received a text from his brother Prince William and he goes to show Meghan the message and all Meghan says is wow. So clearly the message was not wow. Clearly the message was something that was not good because Meghan ends up ending the call with Tyler Perry and gets up to just give Prince Harry a hug. So 
it's like the message that he got from his brother basically what we have gotten to see through this series there is nothing good about prince william and then him putting out that he yelled and screamed at him so that they did not have a good relationship and perhaps even the text was perhaps in that particular manner now, harry also still suggested that the headlines that were on the newspaper and whenever good things were happening the public were praising megan and people are so happy about what they're doing there was always neg negative stories that were being put out there and according to harry he suggested that these headlines came from William's staff trading stories with the press and that hurt. Prince Harry shared, I would rather get destroyed in the press than play along with this game or this business of trading. He also did share, and to see my brother's office copy the very same thing that we promised the two of us would never ever do, that was heartbreaking. Now still on Prince William, Meghan Markle also did share that they discovered that their former communication secretary, Jason Nuff, who also worked with Kate Middleton and William, had given a witness statement in Meghan's lawsuit. And this lawsuit was against the mail. And these were the letters that Meghan Markle had written to her dad and were published in the newspaper. And she had won this lawsuit. But according to Meghan Markle, she was advised to write this letter to her dad she had communicated this with their communication joint communications secretary and this letter still leaked so this is basically putting out that the leak was always coming from kate and williams secretary and the fact that he gave himself as the witness even though they did not ask him to that showed him that he would not have done it by himself unless his bosses that is prince william and kate middleton had given an okay to that and we can get to see megan really angry and just saying that's your brother and she even asked harry so how do we deal with that it's your brother i'm not gonna say anything about your brother but it's so obvious and so what we get to see is that prince harry and Meghan markle have alleged that william authorized their aide jason to damage her in lawsuit so this is a family against another family and so when we go back to the meeting where prince harry says that william had yelled and screamed at him he also did put out that there were articles putting out that William had bullied Meghan and Harry out and not so long a statement was put out that there was no feud between the brothers and so Prince Harry is saying that this statement he did not authorize it he did not know that this statement is being put out and the fact that they put his name there and I'll quote what they say they were happy to lie to protect my brother in four hours but they were never willing to tell the truth to protect us now what's the future for these brothers who are once very close and right now there's that rift and it seems that it will not be healing anytime soon after the queen's passing when the fab four was seen together again people felt that perhaps this is the path to healing a path to reconciliation but right now it seems that that will not be happening anytime soon prince harry's book spare will be coming out in january so the details in the book is also not yet revealed so it's not clear if the book will also bring the rift even further now this particular moment on this photo can be remembered and there were lots of headlines how members of the royal family were very cold towards harry and Meghan, and in fact uh sophie was ignoring them the entire time and harry does confirm in this this Netflix docuseries that that particular time it was very cold and he could just feel it from how they were being treated by members of the royal family and how cold they were towards them but with that being said he was asked if he has anything that perhaps he misses after stepping back he does say that he does miss his family. Those key moments, the key events, Christmas gatherings, which he even mentioned he enjoyed being with his crazy family. So it is understandable that he would miss them as well because they had good moments together. And you could also tell as he speaks about his family and how things were, you can see his face change. You can see some sadness in his eyes. And so eventually they might have gotten what they want, but it's also not just a happy ending because families have 
have been broken. There are people who have been lost. And he did mention that through this process, he has also lost some friends as well. So stepping back had a lot of loss for him as well, as much as people might like to think that he doesn't feel it. Anyway, that's it. You're up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also turn on your post notifications so you're notified once we have any new uploads. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.